Avenki, welcome to Floor Talk. It's great to have you on the show today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So I want to start off by talking about the company. Tell me about Inference. Inference is building an agentic AI system for healthcare research. And we are essentially looking at all data modalities in biomedicine and enabling drug discovery to happen more efficiently, more effectively, as well as clinical research and getting the right drug to the right patient at the right time, all through agentic AI. So tell me, how are you actually using AI to improve diagnostics and treatment in precision medicine? So we are looking at de-identifying the medical record of which there's many modalities. There's physician's notes, clinical text, which is fully unstructured, but curating it takes an army of practitioners today, right? So there's radiology reports, pathology reports, there's images. We have built AI agents that work on each of these data modalities and structure the insights in ways that machines can interpret so that data science can happen. Um, and so protecting patient privacy and still enabling research at scale to happen in real time is the mantra of the company. Now with partnerships at top medical centers, how does access to patient data enhance your AI insights? We are at the forefront of enabling AI research to impact individual practitioners. So we do it in two ways, one through digitization, so we partner with the Mayo Clinic and then Duke Health, Vanderbilt University Medical Center, Emory, amazing academic medical centers to make Mother Nature's languages computable and we digitize data that is not digitized. As an example in pathology, we have um, a venture called Pramana, which is an affiliate that we created and Pramana has digitized millions of pathology slides. So by bringing pathology into the digital era, we are enabling practitioners be they oncologists or uh, researchers to essentially integrate insights from pathology into oncology diagnostics. Yeah. Another example is in the cardiovascular space. So we have developed clinical decision support systems to enable cardiologists to detect diseases, deadly diseases earlier, sometimes years in advance of definitive diagnosis. And that improves the quality of patients' lives. It uh, leads to better outcomes and also reduces the side effects of medicines in some very compelling ways. Um, so between Anumana in ECG AI and Pramana in pathology, we are enabling AI to help individual practitioners. So talk to me more about how AI is changing cancer diagnosis and treatment through pathology and imaging. In pathology, because the viral modality wherein diagnosis happens today is pathology, um, but it is in the analog world, right? So our scanners, Pramana scanners have digitized millions of pathology slides. Now the image, the whole slide image, our AI agents from inference make sense of the patient's journey up to the point of diagnosis, but also the therapeutics that the patients have after diagnosis that results in various levels of effectiveness and safety are curated through AI agents. So an individual pathology image has a whole new meaning because you have the journey of the patient until that point and the outcome of the patient after. Now, as you can imagine, over millions of pathology images, when you have that compendium of biomedical knowledge, you can unlock both drug discovery so that new targets, new medicines are discovered, but also uh, from the pharmaceutical standpoint, as you design clinical trials, you can do so with greater precision in medicine today. And how is AI powered ECG technology improving heart disease detection and care? So in Anumana, we have the opportunity to advance clinical decision support systems to augment the way cardiologists detect diseases from the raw ECG waveforms. So Anumana is working with ECG or EKG, which is the language of the heart, right? So every heartbeat has a waveform and in that waveform is encoded pathologies which are not visible to the eye of even the expert practitioners today. But because we have the historical medical record in inference for decades, we know what led to changes in the ECG and so our agents are able to detect these pathologies and compare them with other patients who are otherwise similar but do not develop these diseases. And those are the diagnostic aids that have been deployed successfully. It's now uh, reimbursed, it's in clinical decision support systems, it's part of guidelines in heart failure and, and you'll see soon in 
pulmonary hypertension in uh, cardiac amyloidosis a host of cardiac diseases i'm very excited about the ability to see some of these things in our lifetimes translate in ways that are detecting diseases but also enabling better outcomes for patients so super exciting and hopefully we are able to mirror that miracle of early detection where there is an intervention in the market um we are able to mirror that in other diseases whether it is in diabetes it is in obesity or neuropsychiatric conditions that's where i think the inference agentic ai system is um is is where there's a lot of promise and potential so you mentioned obesity um how is inference using ai to better understand glp-1 drug effectiveness and new treatment possibilities i'm really excited about this space so when you look at what glp ones have done to humanity you have a modality which clearly has a phenomenal benefit to patients and a dramatic improvement to quality of life but there are also side effects that are being noted at different dosages right the information with regards to how patients go on and off these medicines um because they may achieve their weight loss goals they may achieve their uh, you know glycemic index that is desirable for them so patients go on and off of these medicines in the real world and we are seeing patterns of uh both effectiveness how effective the medicine is but also side effects it could be nausea it may be cardiac uh, side effects that we are able to detect right so there is a unique opportunity to look at the patient derived biospecimen um which is tissues from patients that have been contributed through surgery through pathology and ask the question what is the benefit versus the risk profile of these medicines um in any and all conditions it could be parkinson's disease it could be uh, ibd in the gut So we are at the precipice as humanity of being able to understand the impact of regulating metabolism in wholly new ways in diseases that we do not yet have solutions for. So I'm super excited about this. We are working with our biopharma partners, with our AMC, with our hospital partners to see how this marriage of the past, the data that has been collected so far, and the future, the near future is going to be in the next one two years. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining me today. It's been wonderful to talk with you on Floor Talk today. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Great to be here.